Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel, FGH World 24. Today is an amazing topic. It is about the world's top, powerful 5 missiles. So let's go see about it. Number 1. Missile LGM-30 Minuteman United States. The LGM-30 Minuteman is an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, system developed and maintained by the United States Air Force. It has been a crucial component of the U.S. nuclear triad, which consists of land-based ICBMs, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, and strategic bombers. Here are some key details about the LGM-30 Minuteman missile system. Development and history. The Minuteman program began in the late 1950s as a response to the need for a reliable, solid-fueled ICBM system. The first Minuteman ICBM became operational in the early 1960s. Over the years, it has undergone several upgrades and improvements, resulting in the Minuteman III variant, which has been the backbone of the U.S. land-based ICBM force. Solid-Fueled ICBM The Minuteman III is a solid-fueled missile, which means it can be stored in a ready-to-launch state for extended periods. This feature enhances its survivability and responsiveness in a crisis. Multiple warheads Minuteman III missiles are capable of carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs. Each missile can carry up to three MIRVs, allowing it to target multiple locations with a high degree of accuracy. Range The Minuteman III has an operational range of over 8,000 miles, approximately 13,000 kilometers. This range allows it to strike targets in remote locations with precision. Accuracy the Minuteman III is known for its high accuracy, with a circular error probable, SEP, of less than 200 meters. This accuracy ensures that it can deliver its nuclear warheads with precision. Nuclear deterrence. The primary role of the Minuteman III is to serve as a nuclear deterrent, deterring potential adversaries from launching a nuclear attack on the United States by demonstrating the ability to respond with overwhelming force. Modernization. The U.S. Air Force has pursued a modernization program to extend the service life of the Minuteman III and is also working on developing the ground-based strategic deterrent, GBSD, which will be the next-generation ICBM system to replace the Minuteman III. Number 2. UGM-133 Trident II United States The UGM-133 Trident II, commonly known as Trident II D-5, is a ballistic missile system used by the United States Navy as part of its strategic nuclear deterrent program. Here are some key details about the Trident 2D-5 missile system. Development and history. The Trident 2D-5 is the successor to the earlier Trident I-C-4 missile and is part of the Trident ballistic missile family. Development of the Trident II began in the late 1970s and it became operational in the 1990s. Type. The Trident 2D-5 is a submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, meaning it is launched from submarines. It is one of the key components of the U.S. nuclear triad, alongside land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and strategic bombers. Solid-Fueled Missile Like its predecessor, the Trident 2D-5 is a solid-fueled missile. Solid fuel allows for quick launch readiness and reliability. Range the Trident 2D-5 has an operational range of over 4,000 nautical miles, approximately 7,400 kilometers. It is capable of carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs. Accuracy. The missile is known for its high accuracy, with a circular error probable, SEP, that enables it to strike its intended targets with great precision. Nuclear deterrence. The Trident 2D-5 is a critical component of the U.S. nuclear deterrence strategy providing a second strike capability, meaning it can be launched in retaliation to a nuclear attack, ensuring the credibility of the U.S. nuclear deterrent. Deployment. The Trident 2D-5 is deployed on Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, within the U.S. Navy's Ohio-class submarine fleet. These submarines are an integral part of the nation's strategic nuclear triad. Number 3. RS-28 Sarmat Satan II Russia. The RS-28 Sarmat, also known by its NATO reporting name, Satan-2, is a heavy intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, developed by Russia. It is considered one of the most powerful and advanced ICBMs in the world. Here are some key details about the RS-28 Sarmat Satan-2 missile. Development and history. The development of the RS-28 Sarmat began in the early 2010s as a replacement for the older R-36M2 Voivoda ICBM, which was also known as the Satan. 
The RS-28 Sarmat is designed to enhance Russia's strategic nuclear capabilities. Type. The RS-28 Sarmat is a land-based ICBM, meaning it is launched from silos on land. Payload. It is designed to carry a variety of payloads, including both nuclear and conventional warheads. It is reportedly capable of carrying multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, which allows it to target multiple locations with a single missile. Range. The RS-28 Sarmat has an estimated range of approximately 10,000 kilometers, over 6,200 miles. This range enables it to reach targets across continents. Propulsion. It is powered by liquid-fueled rocket engines, which provide the necessary thrust to reach its targets. Payload capacity. The RS-28 Sarmat is believed to have a high payload capacity, which means it can carry a significant number of warheads and decoys to penetrate enemy missile defenses. Stealth and countermeasures. Details about the missile's stealth capabilities and countermeasures are not widely available, but it is expected to incorporate modern technology to enhance its survivability. Number 4. R-36M2 Voivode Russia. The R-36M2 Voivoda, also known as the SS-18 Satan by NATO reporting name, is a Russian intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, system. Here are some key details about the R-36M2 Voivoda missile. Development and history. The R-36M2 Voivoda was developed during the Cold War era by the Soviet Union as a part of its strategic nuclear missile arsenal. It was designed to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, and was intended to be a key component of the Soviet nuclear triad. Type. The R-36M2 Voivoda is a land-based ICBM, meaning it is launched from silos on land. Payload. It is capable of carrying a large number of MIRVs, which are nuclear warheads designed to be independently targeted to different locations. This capability enhances its ability to penetrate enemy missile defenses and strike multiple targets. Range. The R-36M2 Voivoda has an intercontinental range, with the capability to reach targets at very long distances, potentially spanning continents. Number 5. Agni V. India. The Agni V is an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, developed by India. It is part of the Agni series of missiles and is designed to be a key component of India's strategic nuclear deterrent. Here are some key details about the Agni V missile. Development and history. The Agni V was developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, of India. It is part of India's efforts to enhance its missile capabilities, particularly in the context of nuclear deterrence. Type. The Agni V is a land-based, solid-fueled ballistic missile which means it is launched from mobile land-based platforms. Payload. The missile is designed to carry a single nuclear warhead. The exact specifications and capabilities of the warhead are typically classified. Range. The Agni V has an estimated operational range of around 5,000 kilometers, approximately 3,100 miles. This range allows it to target a wide range of locations, including parts of China, Asia, and parts of Europe. Accuracy. The missile is reported to have a high level of accuracy, which enhances its ability to strike specific targets with precision. Role. The Agni V is primarily intended to serve as a strategic deterrent. It provides India with the capability to deliver nuclear payloads to distant targets, which is a critical element of India's nuclear doctrine. And now everyone, I hope perfectly knows, about the world in the top 5 powerful missiles. So don't forget subscribe to my channel FGH World 24. I will be back soon with more amazing topics. Thanks for watching.